Hi Snapshot Tech Tips If you knew how to format the protected USB drive via CMD, then you could format your BitLocker Windows system drive without any difficulties, is it true? Yes it is. Let's start it to format the USB drive E without using CMD. And then, we will discuss how to format the USB E via CMD later in this tutorial video. Most of us want to do this way, but it is limited in some ways. We will get a clear picture at the end of this tutorial video, if you skip, then you won't understand. In this case we format the USB drive E by choosing the format option. Then you select file system to format, you choose NTFS because it is the most popular and then you also select quick format as well. Then click start button to proceed. After that you can access the USB drive E without any problems, but you will lose all data. At least you still have a USB to use. Let's do more advanced ways so you need to get into the command prompt window. Make sure you elevate it and run as administrator. In the command line, you type format. E, colon, slash F, S, colon, NTFS slash Q. And then you hit enter key on your keyboard. And hit enter again to proceed the next step. Once, quick formatting is being completed. You can give it a name if you want to. In this case I call it, Snapshot Tech Tips. And then hit enter. It is very simple like that. You see, now, your USB drive E, is being labeled with Snapshot Tech Tips, and you can able to access it as well without asking for a BitLocker password but all your data will be gone. Let's do BitLocker, for the USB drive E again and then. We will format it by using a different method. In the command line, you can type disk part. In the disk part command line, you can type list volume. Then it will list all drive letters and types. In this case snapshot tech tips drive E was encrypted BitLocker. Then you type select volume 2. Once volume 2 is being selected, you can type format fs equal ntfs override. Quick and then hit enter. If I want to format the local disk drive C, what should I do? Which it is known as Windows OS drive then you must get into Windows recovery options. Here is a Windows recovery options screen. If you think it is useful tip, then it would be nice to share it with your friends and thumb up as well.